promoting Let's see what's coming up. Volume 2, Entry 1. Found this old tape recorder in the mess I call my boot. I mostly use it for shopping lists, but this has got to be a better use for it. Motorfest have sent me on a mission. It's all part of the new off-roading adventure. Here's the plan. I'm going on a solo trip around the island to find the best trails this land can provide. Oh my gosh, I'm buzzing! I'm currently moving along the leeward coast east of the volcano. The view is bonkers! I can see all the way to the ocean. This route though, it's a real quagmire! Suggest Motorfest uses that Falcon SSV. I really liked it last time. It's sturdy but agile, perfect for adventurers getting ready for their first battle. Turn there. Anyone listening, you better be careful if you want to finish in one piece. Right. Got a great first route all set, so that's me done for today. I need a place for the night, and this beach will do nicely. It's looking like it'll get cold tonight. Maybe I'll have a look in these wrecks for an old bottle of something to keep me warm. Might get lucky.
headache, but I managed to reach Peacock Flat and I'm ready to scout more terrain. Let's go for a dip. They told me to find new parts. They never said they had to be on land, so down the river we go. I'm riding the current like a Pacific salmon. Blimey, got a couple of them fish stuck on my back seat. Hang on, guys. on the back seat have made the supreme sacrifice. I completely forgot to throw them back in the water. Oh, this is heartbreaking. That path is magnificent, though. It's got everything off-roading addicts crave. I mean, just look at these caves. Aren't they just the dog's bollocks? The festival people are going to need a proper all-rounder to handle this brilliant path. Well, that's decided. I'm giving away my own trusty old Defender for that race. It's a little banged up, but it's the most reliable machine there is and a great companion. I can see on my map there's a passage up north. Looks like an easy downhill straight away. Perfect way to avoid a detour. Oh, I take back what I said. tracks on this island lead to beaches. Well, I suppose that's what you'd expect on an island, and it's actually perfect for our next path. Damn! Lost half my ruddy supplies in the river! But I still have the fish! You didn't die for nothing, lads! pursuit of the best trails has led me to the North Shore. Motorfest wants a crazy race with all the trimmings. Once again, I'm going to give them their money's worth. Wild, rocky beaches are a real challenge. There's no single right path. Adventurers have to use their instincts and find the optimal way to exploit the terrain.
must admit, I wouldn't mind a vehicle with softer suspension than my old Defender right now. Back on white sand. The terrain should get less rocky from now on. June's in sight. It's gonna be bumpy. Now that's hairy ground, if ever I saw it. A resort! Civilization! Don't mind me, friends. I'm just passing through. Enjoy your virgin pina coladas. Oh, I made a right mess of their garden. No, oh, they'll just send a bill to Motorfest. Let's talk vehicles. What can I recommend here? It's got to be an official rally raid survivor, a car with real guts, something French maybe. They do make some nice machines across the channel. How about the Peugeot 3008 DKR? Sturdy, V6 by turbo, dynamic. Pierce, you old devil, you've done it again. That's the perfect choice. is going to leave you gobsmacked. for the Festival of Adventurers halfway through this intense championship. Note for Motorfest, the Rubicon with its rugged four-wheel drive underpinnings is a good option for this kind of terrain. Wait, it doesn't have a roof, though. According to my map, I need to go... Yes, that's it. Towards Wamia Mountains.
weather has taken a turn for the worse. It's like a blimmin' monsoon here. Can't see a bloody thing. finally found these waterfalls. Got to say, I was expecting something bigger. Now going through a series of curves on a downhill slope. It's a slippery ride, but my old defender is holding up well. I spoke too soon, I'm stuck. Come on, you old wreck. Show me what you're off. Had to throw some weight overboard, but I'm finally out of this mess. Hopefully the compact Rubicon should hold better in the same conditions. Whoa, I'm finally through. Gotta find a dry spot to make camp for the night. This rain is a real pain in the backside. Supplies got stolen by some wild animal last night. I cannot believe this. On the bright side, the rain has eased off and the dirt roads are much more passable now. I'm currently going down the hill. A nice, fun ride in the morning with some fun and easy turns. I'll be reaching the wide expanse of Central pretty soon. I should get a whole different topology down there. Let's see how it looks. open countryside tracks. Guaranteed fun. Reminds me of riding motocross in the West Parks fields as a young lad with my cousins. Great stuff. Well, this is what it's gonna be then. A nice open mud playground for some fellow bike lovers to ride to their heart's content. could they give the adventurers? I remember a superb customized KTM in the garage of the festival PR. I didn't quite catch her name. Moolah? Honestly, head like a sieve. Well, anyway, she had a hell of a bike. A 450 EXC. Probably the best power-to-weight ratio four-stroke I've ever seen.
bloody hell! That's it, I got you! Don't know why that's sending me loopy. I've got to be careful. I haven't eaten in a while and Mother Nature might be starting to mess with my mind. Gotta take a break. It's gonna be a long night and I can feel my energy running dangerously low. They're like gladiators battling across the firmament. Marvelous! Wait a second. What forsaken country am I in? I'm losing it! Pierce's log final entry. If anyone's listening, these are probably my last words. I'm nearing starvation here. Might be about to embark on my last journey. It's okay. I've lived a full life. A beautiful adventure. Oh! A Turkish delight! I've just found a massive stash of sweets under the passenger seat. All right, I'm back and feeling more alive than ever. Must be this sugar rush. Let's finish this. All I need now is to come up with a car suggestion. I had back there. Gladiators in the skies. 
silly me. Eureka! The Jeep Gladiator. That's the one. It was here all along. The Jeep as the fighter, the wilderness for its arena. Tell me, listeners, are you not entertained? Number seven. What a great night. See, that's what I like about these wild escapades. You never know what's going to happen. Anyway, I'm ready to move on. I'm currently driving on the edge of the mountains, and I think this is a route that calls for a bike. Let's see what happens if I keep following the ridge. competition look this time. Those guys know a thing or two about uneven terrain. I can see the Motorfest grounds from here. Glorious! carrying on, and I happen to notice something a little peculiar. Bear prints all over the trail. Here, in the supposedly bear-free Hawaiian wilderness. Bloody mystery, but no time for that kind of monkey business. I've got an event to wrap up. Oh yeah, that section is definitely going to be part of the show. It's starting to play on my mind, to be honest. The presence of a bear here is theoretically impossible, but I don't know. There could be some mighty nature force at work here. As someone once said, life finds a way. Alright, Pierce, focus. 
comes a bit of a cliff. Oh, wow, my suspension felt that one for sure. Tracks are still bothering me though, listeners. PSO boy, you'd better watch your back. for this ride, like a hammer, or maybe a bloody tank. What the hell? This animal's not giving up. Maybe some sharp zigs and zags will catch him off guard. Wait for it. Sharp left. To the right. That's it, I think I'm safe. Who's laughing now, bear boy? Bloody hell, I've been through some tough ones, but this. God damn, I can't believe it! It's back! Log entry nine. 
Holy Marmalade, another eventful night. the silliness we really got on like a house on fire we've got a lot in common actually anyway we chatted over a fish supper then went our separate ways via con dios my runaway friend live free i say undoubtedly call for a fast yet versatile vehicle. is the Audi S1 EKS RX Quattro, a 600 HP four-wheel drive. A car that goes like the blazes but still thrives in the tightest of curves. My word, this is going to be spectacular. to enjoy a final glimpse of that beautiful Hawaiian jungle. Gorgeous. deserve break. Maybe I'll go to the cinema tonight. I hope I ride is still showing. Wow, what a bloody journey. We're through, listeners. Until our next adventure, Pierce out.
it's time to reap your reward. Container right ahead. Let's complete this playlist. Let's complete this playlist. 